guys, so we have a BoxyCharm unboxing for August, as that's the month we're in now. Good job. I barely know what month it is. I have no concept of time right Hugh now. there, what I'm month is it? So freaking busy. There you go. What? Open your first box of a BoxyCharm. What is it? This is the... Retinol? Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. This is ironic. Because as of all the information... Ooh, that's a cute little container. As all information I get on TikTok, um, I just watched this thing about how retinol, or retin-A specifically, like, destroys the oil glands around your eyes and contributes to horrific dry eye. But I already have that, so, like, YOLO. Reignite the sparkle in your eyes with a gentle but powerful eye cream formulated with avocado, encapsulated retinol, coffee berry, and... Niacinamide. Nice. Long lasting oh. actives released to help moisturize, brighten, fight fine lines, and depuff. She's thick. This is like a very thick cream. I wish there was a little applicator or like a different shape of the bottle because it's You're... kind of tight at the top. So, like, how do you get your finger in there? You use the pinky. It feels okay. It's a very, <laughs> it's a very stiff cream, but it's it's fine. It's, cheap, so. it's not like I'm used to like a water gel, or I've been using the Tatcha uh, bougie ass <laughs> moisturizer lately, which I love, and I hate to admit how much I freaking love it because it's expensive, but it works. Okay, What's that? You open that. I don't know how to open that. This is the Aesthetica Starlight Highlighter. Create a multi-dimensional radiant glow. This velvety soft, lightweight, illuminating formula delivers stunning, buildable highlight that can be worn day or night. Achieve a picture-perfect, luminous finish that complements all skin tones. Well, look at that. Sounds so watery. Does this seem like it's like a rose gold color? Yes. So that's going to look terrible on my skin, <laughs> but it's really pretty, actually. It doesn't seem like it has a lot of, like, chunky glitter in it, but definitely, like, a lot of sheen. It's everywhere now. I, I um, feel like I struck out with a lot of aesthetic products so far, so we'll see how this goes. This is Kveen Studio Bow Down Brow Glue. Command your brows. This easy-to-use, non-sticky... Flake resistant, super long lasting, transparent formula stays in place for 16 plus hours and has a natural finish that works on any brow color. Armed with a baby spoolie applicator, sweep and shape your eyebrows to perfection. Well, I don't have eyebrows. You have tattoos. My eyebrows are, I have powder brows tattooed onto my face. So, I mean, you can use nope. it. <laughs> nope. Nope. You're not putting that in on my eyebrows. You could do it on your mustache. Okay, maybe. <laughs> All right. This highlighter is really pretty. This is... There are two in here. There Ooh. you go. This is the... Basic Beauty Gel Lip Liner Duo. These gel lip liners are creamy and long-lasting and hydrating. They smoothly glide on lips and blend with little to no effort. It does, the, the application is nice. I feel like it would be smoother is, on my mouth. This but. is the thing. We look, I had to look in the box because she was getting ready to order stuff, and but she wanted me to look in the box to make sure there weren't certain things in there. She's like, I'm going to order lipsticks. And I'm like, ah, it's not lipstick, but it's lip stuff. But the lipsticks I did order, like, would not go with this at all. I'll show those. At the end, after we finish up, all right. really pretty. Air Ooh, is Natasha. But it's literally like every goddamn shade you get. I was gonna say open it up and turn it because there was a reflection. It's all the neutrals that yeah. I want to stop getting. Yeah, I said I was <laughs> like I was like I was like, I was like probably use them, but I do want to be like you have, but you have them all. That's really pretty. That's a very. So, pretty red. Natasha Burgundy. Denona Cupid Eyeshadow Palette. 
with three velvety mattes and two dazzling metallics. The versatile five pan Cupid palette is all you need to create a range of romantic looks for from flirty to fierce. Featuring rich coppery browns, bright champagne pinks, and luscious burgundy corals. It is a burgundy. All five shades are velvety, hydrating, and effortless to layer. I do really like her formulation, and it makes me feel fancy to get her products. I think I have, well, I have at least two other ones. I have these two on hand. This blue is so pretty. Black, blue, black, I don't know, but like I'm a fan. I like her products. I don't know if I like her products because my brain's like, that's expensive and you should like that. Oh, I don't want your brain to be like that. <laughs> so, um, all right, show them the other, uh, show them your other leaps. So I placed a Sephora order because I needed deodorant and I really like the Kosas, uh, serum deodorants a whole lot. So I got two of the Sephora liquid lips and then I got a Melt Cosmetics one. I've never tried any of these. So, I mean, we'll see. But like, that's so pretty. That's the Melt Cosmetics. It's like a very dark burgundy. And it has a scent to it, which is actually very pleasant. I was surprised. I am happy about that. And then I wanted like a dark emerald green. I love that one. It's so pretty. It looks blue on camera. Yeah, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but it is so freaking pretty. And I needed a new black lipstick because the one I have is from when Kat Von D was still Kat Von D. So it's it's quite um, the vintage. What's Kat Von D now? It's just uh, KVD Beauty because she was taken out of it because she's kind of crazy. Mm. That happens. Her um, beliefs do not align with mine, but I'm glad I can still buy stuff from her makeup line because I did really like the lipstick formulation. I feel as though all... Of the lipsticks I have currently that I haven't gotten recently in my BoxyCharm probably need to be thrown out just because with the, when the pandemic started, did not wear lipstick at all pretty much just because of wearing a mask constantly at work. And that's kind of like, we still have to wear masks in the health system that I work at. So one of the girls at work, her, her mask said, save the lipstick. Yeah. Which was so. Hilarious. I've just been buying like boatloads of Jack Black lip balm because that's my favorite and not really gotten to wear a whole lot of lipstick, but I saw these and I was like... Did you say Jack Black? Yeah. It's, is it the Jack Black? I think so. That's kind of actually... I cool. don't know. I need to Google that. I've been meaning to Google that. All right. So you're going to use some stuff and you're going to talk about it and I'm not going to be here. So yeah. I don't know how much of a review I can give the eye cream. Just because that's one of those things you got to use like a whole bunch, especially with the claims to see if it actually works. But maybe I'll be back because of the the brow glue. Yeah. Use it on my mustache. We'll see. All right. See you in a second. Oh, hi there. Hello. So I did my makeup with, oh, there's an avalanche with the, uh, all the new stuff. I like the lip liner's fine. I used, um, it's like a really thin thin lip stain. I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere, but I feel as though it, the way it dries down, I can't get a good look at it, but it always looks weird and patchy. So then like the borders of my lips, which are already like really defined, like they stick out a little bit. So color just really likes to stick to them and make it look like a solid line around my mouth. But like this really this lip formula really accentuates it, which I'm not super fan of. Um, also, it reapplies weird, but like that wasn't in this box, so whatever. It was in a different box that I didn't record because I um, didn't have time, but I did use the little brick here. Speaking of brick, I used this burgundy mostly on my lid, and then I blended out a bit with this. I used this in my inner corner as a highlight. And then I used this lighter one on my brow bone. I did blend out that inner corner because it just like, it's like a bronze. So it ended up looking 
way too dark and I panicked and I didn't want to have to do my makeup over again. I did put the eye cream on before I did my face makeup. It's fine. I still have a lot of issues with that packaging. Like I don't have long nails at all and it got all underneath my nails when I was trying to put it on. And I don't really like the idea of digging my finger in something and then putting it so close to my eye and then dipping my, like something I use every day that I'm just like, Wah! like if I could find a little spatula or like a popsicle stick, that would be great. Don't really love the idea of rubbing a popsicle stick under my eyes either, to be honest, but I put on that highlighter. It's really pretty. It is more of a pink shift to it. So I'm like a really pink person. My skin's really pink. I have very cool toned. So I feel like it actually like works pretty well with my skin. I was a little concerned when I swatched it. Like that's a little dark. That's a little pink, but like also bitch, you're pink. Like just deal with it. So I think that's all the products I, I got. I obviously didn't use that, the, the eyebrow glue because you would have to have eyebrows to do that. And I really wish that they would stop sending clear eyebrow products to me because my eyebrows are in fact clear and I had them tattooed on. So, you know, that would be cool, but I'm going to wear this. It is probably after two at this point. It's like almost two 30. I'm going to wear it. I don't know. Give it like five, six hours till whenever I'm going to take a shower and get ready for bed. But I feel like the eyeliner eyeliner, the eyeshadow, like it's a great formula. I love the formula. I'm still having issues with trying to find an eye base that works for my really oily hooded eyes. So I feel as though it's already creasing. Like, you know that feeling if you have these eyelids, like, you know, you can, it, it feels like not dry and set is the least gross way I could put it, I suppose. But yeah, still like not wild about this lip with the eye combo. I feel like this comes off a lot more brown than it is in person. So I did take some pictures of my face <laughs> that we're going to put in just so you can get a little bit better read of the color. It's a beautiful color. I love it. I love Charlotte Tilbury's. This is not, this is Natasha Denona. Oops. I'm really tired. I am really tired. I'm going to use that excuse, but I like Natasha Denona's uh, formula. It's beautiful. Barely any fallout with it, which I was worried because it is a dark color that I predominantly used and it is a red tone, which not only is that a beast to get off for fallout, but it usually stains, which I didn't consider. I think it'll be fine though. If it's in an eyeshadow quad, it's usually not considered a pressed pigment, which are usually the culprits of eyelid staining, but yeah, I'm going to do some stuff that I should have been doing hours ago and I'll catch up a little bit later. I'm probably going to take off this lipstick because I just, I'm sitting at home and it's going to get everywhere. I'm going to forget I'm wearing it. And also I want to drink my coffee because somebody got me a nice a pumpkin spice because it's fall bitches. It's not fall yet, but it's always fall in my heart. Seen a few hours. Well, hello there. So it's been probably like close to six hours and I haven't been doing anything physical, just a lot of mental exertion with my brain. So and this shouldn't look as rough as it really does. I think it's honestly, I think it's my eye primer. It's not it. Like everywhere except for the crease looks really nice, looks really pigmented. I just, I think it's, it's my, uh, my base is my problem. Again, if anyone has any recommendations for a good eye primer for an oily, oily lady with hooded eyes, I would love to hear it. I'm all ears. I'm also all oily lid. 
So, yeah. I love the eyeshadow. It's great. I feel like, yeah, the highlighter held up really nicely. Um, the lip liners, I could honestly take them or leave them. I really don't use lip liners that often. And I didn't reapply it after I ate. I just used this very patchy lip product again. I think I have it handy here to show you. Yep, it's... I don't know how to say that. It's that one. I'm not a fan. It's not focusing. Anyways, I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels on my mouth. I don't like how patchy it is. But again, that wasn't in this box, so... Yep. Um, those are my thoughts. Kind of brief, but... I, I know I'm a fan of this brand of eyeshadow, so I wasn't very surprised when I realized how much I liked it. And I'm glad that I have, like, a nice fall color to transition into autumn, even though there's no transition. Like, it's, it's always, like I said, always fall in my heart. But, uh, yeah. I always think it's strange when people base all of their makeup and nail polish choices on the season. It's just, I don't do that. And I do overhear it a lot in the nail salon I go to when people are looking at colors and they're like, well, I can't get a dark color. It's summer. It's like, why the fuck does that matter? The nail polish police aren't going to come after you. Just pick that gray. Like, why not? Anyways, what did you get in your boxy this month? I'd love to know. Did we get any of the same products? Have you tried any of the things that I showed and I tried? Let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please do hit the like button. If you have oily eyelids, also please hit the like button. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Uh, what color are your nails right now? Let me know. Mine are this like nice tomato soup color. I quite enjoy them. Uh, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at Reanimator. And uh, I don't think this will be on the Farsighted, but <laughs> you can find my movie reviews solo as well as with the groom on uh, iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please also check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I hope you guys aren't dying of heat exhaustion. August is like almost over, so we can look forward to that. If you're one of those people that really enjoys hot weather, are you from hell? Like why? The deep south, as that is said in Little Mickey. <laughs> but, all right. Bye, guys. It's been a while since we've done a video. <laughs> I don't know if I remember busy. how to do this. Just busy. The last one was the black phone. My fan's over here. I didn't realize I buried my fan. Shove your fan.